Weed of the Week is White Heath Aster. You know, when you think about tough weeds, this is one that can be invasive, and part of the reason it, it reproduces through rhizomes and stolons, it, it can move and, and spread, and that, that can be a challenge. But on the other hand, do we need to kill it in all circumstances? Certainly if it's out in our crop fields, we do. This is gonna be a weed that's gonna take away yield from our crops. But out in prairies, if you're using them for hay, yeah, it can reduce the amount of hay and reduce the forage quality. So you're not you're making grazing, a good case for this. You're gonna need to, but if you're out in the wild, Brian, in the trees, and the only thing that's out there's, there is deer, well, there's no big deal. Well, then here, you can leave it alone. Okay, here's the whole thing. This is the weed of the week. This is not the crop of the week. It's just like we're standing in a cornfield right now. Is corn a crop? Sure it is. Can corn be a weed? Absolutely it can, and it's the same thing with this plant. If the plant is where you don't want it to be, it is a weed. If it's where you want it to be, now it is not a weed. All right, we're not trying to eradicate this plant <laughs> from the earth. We're just trying to get it out of our crop fields, and to do that- And pastures. It's gonna take a pretty nice approach here. With a perennial like that, you're gonna have to use something like Roundup that'll move down into the root system to take out those rhizomes and stolons. Otherwise, you're just gonna be burning it off, and it's gonna keep coming back. Okay, but here are a couple of common mistakes that happen. Number one, people use tillage, then they go spray the Roundup. Well, that's not gonna work because you're gonna cut the rhizomes and stolons and now new plants are gonna come up from that. You can't do that. So leave it untilled. And then the next mistake that happens is people don't use a strong enough rate of Roundup. You have to use a super strong rate. Use the highest labeled rate for your situation and then keep that water volume low. 20 gallons of water isn't gonna cut it. You've gotta have low water volumes. You have concentrated droplets. So you get more dose into that plant. And a lot of times, if you're out there early in the spring, it's not very big. There isn't anything else growing around it. So you don't need 20 gallons of water. You don't ever need that with Roundup, in my opinion. So just keep that water volume low, Roundup rate high, don't do tillage, then you'll get it under control. Otherwise, none of our pre's and corn, soybeans, and wheat are gonna do anything other than just burn off what's above ground. Yep. In crop, in corn, I really like status. That'd be our best shot in crop in soybeans. Uh, I would say there you're looking at either an extend type dicamba product or uh, using Enlist One in E3 soybeans. Yep, otherwise Those, again, round would, up Liberty. would do a pretty good job burning it down. Yep, in wheat I'd probably just use Husky again. It's not gonna kill the whole thing, but at least it'll burn it down a little bit. Then we get to the non-crop or pasture areas. We really like distinct, that would be our favorite. Otherwise, I would go out there with some dicamba, 2,4-D, and all those basically are gonna give you burning it to the ground activity. If you wanna totally kill the root system, Tordon is probably the better way to go. But keep in mind, Tordon kills fish, Tordon kills trees. Yeah, so you get some challenges there, but our Weed of the Week is not an easy one to stop. It's White Heath Aster. It's all time we have for this week's Weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.